Oh, yeah, we have cold beer. beer. Okay, cold beer. Shout out cold, cold beer, York. please. Yeah, cold that's really good. You want to open it? How do you? Yes. All right. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Cheers, good to be man. here. Cheers, man. I think I have to clap you for. Okay, thanks for having time with us. My pleasure. It's really nice. Uh, we tried to make it a bit comfy here. <laughs> I have the comfortable chair. What are you? You're sitting yeah, in a box. I, I'm sitting. I mean, I'm studying film, so I have to. Uh, be yeah, like, you have to suffer a little more. <laughs> yeah, I have to suffer a little yeah. bit more. And I'm old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You're I'm supposed sorry. to say no. Yeah, I will say no the next <laughs> no, time. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. It's like one of my first interviews. But um, yeah, thank you very much for being here. And uh, the reason we made it a bit more comfy here is uh, I wanted to take you a bit more out of the big atmosphere of a film festival mm. because it can be stressful, I think. And I wanted to ask you, how is it um, being, being interviewed, being on that festival the whole day and how do you take rest? How do you um, enjoy your evening after a day like this? It's, it can be taxing. It's, it's um, uh, a lot of hours and a lot of questions and a lot of talking. Um, but if you, if you make sure that the projects that you work on are yeah. ones that you appreciate and um, like a lot, then it makes it easier. So you can talk about your film yeah. or you can talk about acting or how to construct a production of, of a movie or a television show. And it's... It's, it's possible to get through the day, but then you get mm -hmm. tired, like right now. It's getting to the end of the day, and I'm, I'm tired. In, in our business, what you'll find out is that you're, you're working 13, 14, 15 hours a day. And then on the weekends, you're working, working because you're preparing too. for the week. So it's work, work. Yeah, it's work. a lot of work. So that's why I say to, to students uh, that you really shouldn't try to get into this business <laughs> if you could be happy doing something else. Okay, so you have to give everything from yourself. You really do. You love it. Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's, it's extremely difficult. Yeah. And you'll be tested. You'll be tested all mm -hmm. along the way. And they'll try to, not they, it's just, but the way the world works is that um, it's, it's hard. You know, there, it, it's, it's difficult to navigate through and if you accept that it's going to be difficult, then it makes it somewhat easier because you're prepared for the difficulty. Yeah. When you're doing, you know, a film when, on your studio, you have to be ready for mistakes. Yeah, you have right. to be ready yeah. for when things go wrong. And so I think, I think film students are actually better prepared to, to face life than others because they're, they're ready for the, for the problems to yeah. come up. Yeah, I, this one was one of my questions because I'm like nine months here now. I'm studying documentary films, and I know like me and my classmates, we all had these moments already when when the first film was. It was really tough sometimes, and you have these thoughts about, am I gonna do this my whole life? And maybe it's even like when you're an actor, it might be a similar thing. Mm -hmm. Did you have these moments too? Like when you said. I'm giving so much, and it takes so much from myself? Uh, no, no, I haven't had that. That's I've great. been tested. Uh, I've had survival, what I call survival jobs, yeah. jobs that, you know, working in a restaurant or loading trucks or doing all kinds of things that um, are somewhat soul-killing at times. Yeah. And you have to just allow any toughness that comes your way to test you. It, as if, as if, it's saying you haven't got what it takes. You haven't, have you? Mm -hmm. And you, whew, you breathe into it, mm -hmm. and you go, "This is hard. This is degrading, or this is menial work, or whatever." And I really don't want to be doing this. And this man who treats me awful doesn't know who I am. Yeah. He only cares about me working for him, and he's miserable and, and unhappy himself. And so he's going to make me feel that way. I've had a lot of those situations. It made me feel stronger because he didn't know what I knew. And what I knew is that one day I'm going to be able to legitimately call myself an actor. Yeah. Make a living as an actor. You're at that point. At that point. Yeah. And you are going to be able to do the same if you allow these little things that happen instead of beating you down. Think of everything that happens like that as a little vitamin that's like, oh, 
It's going to make every little thing is going to make me stronger yeah. as opposed to putting you down. And what what is helping in that process? Like what what is helping yourself to to get over those phases, like to get over those those uh, points where you like put down sometimes when it's stressful, when it's taken so much. Well, from what what helps um, is to have a a family of creative people mm -hmm. like you have your mm -hmm. friends, your students, and be able to commiserate with yourselves, talk to each other, encourage each mm -hmm. other to stick at it, keep yeah. going, keep creating. Especially in times like this when there's so much cynicism and um, anger and anxiety in the world right now, right? They need artists more than ever. I was asking myself if, if there's like a connection between being an actor and because I'm trying to make documentaries in the research part of aspects. So I was thinking maybe it's in some point the same that you get your your, inspira your inspiration from the real life. And well, that's, that's <clears throat> that, it, like you, research is probably the first thing you do. Mm. If you're covering a subject, you need to educate yourself on on the subject or on the person. It's the same thing with me if I'm going to play that person. I need to know how he thinks and feels, what he stood for, what was he afraid of, what was he good at, what was he not good at. To have the curiosity to, to want to do the research. Um, and then, then it's using your imagination to be able to connect the dots to everything. So it's that and trust that the character will come into you and you'll find what aspects of that character you can use. So you're not going to do an impersonation of someone. You're going to do your, your take on that person, your sensibility. It now goes, goes through your filter, the, the more that you can welcome that person into your And, and is, is it easier, like... We, unfortunately, but we have... Time's over? It's no problem. Okay. How come you let these people in the studio? I don't know. This At least we had a beer. You want some more? <laughs> Thanks Cheers. for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you Lovely. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful.